Still, we'll see what we can do. What happened? Unexploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. Pashang, you didn't scan first. Oh. Drummer, his suit is punctured and losing pressure. You need to release the vault and patch him now or he could die. Belay that. That vault has O2, fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. Oh, we have a decision now. Do we save the man or do we save the vault? Oh, lose the vault or lose the legs. All right, chat. What are we thinking here? What's more important? The treasures or the leg? Ooh. Grim, you think we should lose the leg? Save him, please. Well, we're going to save him, but it's just a question of do we save him with a leg or without a leg? You know. Which way do we want to go here? Because our boss said, like, we need the vault, right? Hmm, I'm in for him not losing his leg. Ah. Lose the vaults, but there's treasures and such. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> what are you doing? check on him but vitals look stable you did the right thing Kamina bullshit <laughs> see if you feel that way in a few weeks when we're running out of man space. the big boss man. he's right Boratna you're a disgrace to Beltaloda it's done boss man's angry now Well, that was unfortunate. Fran's an idiot, but he didn't deserve to suffer vacuum exposure for his mistake. No one does. Eh, you know, I feel like that's fair. Maybe that will, like, help us later on when we need his help or something. I don't know. Hopefully that's going to be a good investment. Or our boss is going to be setting us up for failure at some point. Who knows? Oh, I see dead people. God, this is gorgeous. I mean, other than the dead people. And, like, the trash everywhere. It's just floating out here. This is so neat. The inner guts of a ship. Like, wow, that thing was ripped to the shreds. No one likes the boss man? We're floating and it's great. And we can tilt ourselves left and right. You're you're back, but you're mad at Seth freaking Rollins? Oh no. Hey, we're back at the filters. Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. Ah, because we have the hand now. Got it. There's the hand. Put your hands up. You're in. Let's see what these UNN big shots kept themselves. Damn. Looks like the Urshanabi's last stand. They suddenly didn't give up the ship without a fight. Graffiti. They didn't even get to finish their last words. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely a mess. That like brain juice everywhere.
Even with the skeleton crew, the UNN would have massively outnumbered the pirates. And still, the pirates cut right through them. Hmm. 67 souls, 12 officers. There is like 70, almost 80 people on this ship. Oh, it's because Finn lost? Oh, no. Oh, grab it, grab it! I don't know what it is, but shouldn't we grab it? Oh. Get up there. Oh, do I just walk? Okay. Cigars? Kong, I have something for you. It's a surprise. <laughs> the biggest surprise would be ten uninterrupted minutes without your voice in my ear telling me how to do my job. Well, here. Can you give me that? Nope. It's my job to double check everything. That lets you focus on your job, which apparently is making my life miserable. Hold that thought. I need to take a shit. <laughs> Will you remind me to wipe my ass in 10 minutes? Wow, Khan is. You know what? Forget about the surprise. Already forgotten. Jewels, you did lots of homework, good for you. This one didn't see any other way out. Oh, wow. Good. Congrats on the homework. This is Christian Abasarala, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter hostiles. Captain, you lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You outnumber them five to one. I don't give half a fuck what ghost stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson. Do your fucking job, or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abasarala. So Christian is a character from the uh, the show, and she's a badass politician. So it doesn't surprise me she left that message for this dude. Found the captain. Well. Most of him. Fucking savages. Looks like a personal key card. I should find wherever it opens. No, I mean, like, she's like. Found a key card on the captain. Not sure what it's for, though. She. Check his room? Maybe he has a safe somewhere that pirate scanners wouldn't have picked up. Yeah, I mean, she's like a ruthless politician, I guess, is the best way I would describe it. And just puts up with no bullshit, just... <laughs> it's, she's a cool character. Earthers like to visit the parts of their planet that they haven't destroyed yet. This is actually called The Expanse. It's a telltale game, Jules. It's based off a, a book. I'm no art snob. A book. But I don't think most paintings are done on iron. It's based off a book and a TV show. There you are. Blowtorch it. Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. <laughs> Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. <laughs> All right. Load up the crew and head back. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile. Mm-hmm.
I mean, if you like space and you like adventures and pirates and... Drummer? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, boss man. Khan's picking up a short in the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. I'm on it. Okay, we got work to do. We're in space. Let's see what we got here. We're floating. Look at this paint job. You'd think with a name like Artemis, we'd eventually hit our target. <laughs> Artemis is a favorite, or a famous uh, archer, is she? That's funny. A little humor there. Oh, oh, oh. Hopefully we don't get caught there. What else are we looking for? Like something over here. Is that supposed to be a gun? Yes, it is. Artemis is the Greek goddess of the hunt. Ah, cool. Pirate killer, that's the name of this gun. Despite Khan's nickname, this cannon hasn't killed anything yet. It did break up some pretty large debris though. I, I just think it's wild that we're like floating outside their, the spaceship. And you can see all like the jets firing off her back, like as we like control her and such. It's such a neat little, neat feeling. Who wants to go into the thrusters and find out what's going on? I feel like it's like super dangerous. This is Drama, preparing to access the fusion coupling. Stand by. This is a trap? What the hell? What's going on on the planet? Or moon or whatever. Maya. Maya. The volcano. You have to see this. Maya is everything. Sabaka! Uh, what's going on? Jamming the country pants up! Using bad language now. Yeah. Oh snap. Yeah. This is insane. Come in! What the fuck is going on? Someone respond! Cox. This is the way of it. We all know that. Death is part of the pact we make when we venture into the belt. Drummer was one tough bitch. With her past, I figured she would survive anything. 
But none of us is immune to the realities of life out here. I know Kamina Drummer. And she wouldn't want us wasting our oxygen on mourning. She'd tell us to get off our asses and get to work. That's the drummer I know. She'd be looking ahead to the next score, the next burn. That's right, boss man. I keep my eyes forward. <laughs> but that makes it a lot harder to watch my back. It's over. You're fucked, Pompa. How the hell did you- The Bakawala tried to torch me. Lured me down to the thrusters, hit the engine. Play it off like it was an accident. I bet he was up in the bridge alone before coming down here, yeah? So what? I was setting new coordinates. How was I supposed to know you were on the hull? <laughs> Why don't we pull up the radio logs from the server? Shouldn't take long. Now I understand. Y'all see what's happening? Drummer's making her move. I always wondered when she would. Why did you do it? Was there something on that drive I found? Can you believe this bullshit? <laughs> You've been planning this since you first stepped on board this ship, haven't you? Mutinous bitch. Hmm. Interesting. Ask yourselves, who do you believe? Me? Or the man who has made promise after promise with no payoff? Darling, Rayan, take her down to the brig. She's gonna pay for this traitorous bullshit. Do it! Maybe he right, Drama. You can be pretty rough on your crew sometimes. But Beltalorda ain't nothing if we sell each other out to Inyas. Nah. I don't think so, Bampa. Damn skinnies. <laughs> I should have known. Racist. Everybody stay where you are. Stand back. This is still my ship. Why don't you put that gun down, Captain? We're all crew here. We may be scavengers, but we're not criminals. We follow protocol. We solve disputes with words, not violence. Like the docks can get shot. That's how we keep our humanity. Give me the gun, Captain. It'll be okay. She's gonna kill me. No one is gonna kill you. I won't be so sure about that. Back off. I'm warning you all. Captain, it'll be okay if you just... Bullshit. Tell it to the skinnies, not me. You want to see what happens to you when they're in charge of this ship? Maybe we should tell them who you really are. <laughs> Someone's getting shot. <sighs> not Maya. Fuck. Con. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Be sorry later. Right now, do your job. What happened to do no harm, asshole? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm good. Good. I'll man the bridge while you sort out this shit show. Maya, you're supposed to- Just don't touch anything! I'll be right there! As soon as Dr. Dipshit here is finished. Okay, what are we gonna do with- I did everything for you, drummer. Captain Cox, what are we gonna do? I could have turned you over to Dawes a hundred times, but I didn't. Because we made a deal. Our deal is dead. Chat, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna shoot this guy or what? He needs to go? Ooh. Oh no. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. Take him to the airlock. Oh, ah, no. this is how the no, episode drummer. started. No, let me go. Drummer, mm. no. 
Please drum her now! She's a no! badass. I gotta watch the show again. If you haven't seen The Expanse, watch it. It's good. It's dirty and gritty and human. Oh, listen, come on. Yeah. Listen to me, damn it, drummer. Listen to me. The coordinates on that data drive. They're for the MK core. You've never heard of it, that's exactly my point. Look, you were right, okay? They did try and take you out. I've heard how you ungrateful fucks all talk about me. Why should I let you cash in now? But really, I... I wanted the profits for myself. Because this score drummer... This is the greatest score any scavenger has ever come across. Uh, is this part of the show? I mean, this... the... Drummer is a character in the show, a very important character. Cox, I don't recall. So I think it's like a sub-story, if you will. Uh, Lizard? Yeah. We've heard it before. How do you know? How could you possibly know that? I've been at this a long time. When there's a treasure this big, I make it my business to know about it. So... Look! When you find what's at the other end of those coordinates, the whole system will be on your ass. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. Are we gonna keep this guy alive or what? Okay? I know. But I'm not crazy. Throw me in the brig. You'll be glad I'm still here when the time comes. Keep him? Listen to me, damn it. Drummer, listen to me. Oh, I wouldn't keep him. I, I wouldn't kill him. I would keep him. Space him. Throw him in the brig. Space him. Throw him in the brig. So I guess we're throwing him in the brig then. He did try to kill you. He sure did. He, and he, if you give him a chance, he'll do it again. But I guess better alive. Keep your enemies close, I guess. Brig, brig, brig. All right, I agree. Oh, fuck, drummer. Thank you. Thank you, son. Tie him up. A <laughs> lizard predicting the future. What now? We've been locked. Cox forgot to hide our drive signature. Hashang, of course he did. <laughs> Captain? Captain Drummer, what are your orders? Captain? Captain Drummer, what are your orders? Oh, uh, we're in charge now? <laughs> Excellent. I've got, got good at the end. This looks like an episode of a television show. So there's going to be a new episode every two weeks until like September or something. So I think we're going to enjoy these for the next little bit. Definitely, uh... Yeah, I think it was. I, I obviously I'm a big fan of the ex expanse itself, but from a telltale perspective, it was good. Yeah, lizard. Unfortunately, we gotta wait for the next episode. I'm gonna fast forward here a little bit. I don't have any credits there are. Don't leave us like this. See, Kara G. 
pretty sure that's actually the actress from the show. And even the two other, yeah, no, they've used the voices of the people from the show, which is awesome. Deck Nine must be like Telltale's something. There's some relationship there with Deck Nine. Maybe, because I know Telltale had some financial challenges, right? But they've come out of it somehow. And I guess they've got some other developers helping them with this. But this is, uh... Yeah, so you didn't hear the Expanse main theme because it's copyright. And some of these other songs you did not hear because of copyright. <laughs> but there you go, Unreal Engine. Mocap, we had some motion capture. I love the uh, the controls in space were great. It, it definitely felt like you were in space. It was very well done. Production babies. So these were all the babies born while they were making this game. It's a lot of babies. And you. Colorado Office of the Film, Television, Media. That was made in Colorado. All right, folks. Now, what we get to see is the uh, decisions and see how we rank with others. So two-thirds matched us. We shared a drink. We were on the minority of snapping at her. We were on the minority about letting him bully him. Interesting. And by the way, this song is from the show. It's so good. Min almost got toasted, exactly. So one, we are the minority there. Majority there. Oh, look at this. Drummer got the upper hand before Maya Pinder. Wow, okay, so clearly that's almost... I don't even know how you get the other way. Maya didn't play a prank on Drummer. Drummer didn't ask Khan about her past with the pirates. Drummer protected Rayon. Look, we were in the majority. 70% of us saved Rin. Drummer told Virgil the shooting was not his fault. Whoa, look at that. 68% of us saved Cox and threw him in the brig. Wow, see, look at that. We are not a killer. We're like, you know... We're good, we're good people. So yeah, that is the episode number one. And you can see at the bottom there, there are going to be five more episodes. So tune in for the next episode. This one was called Archer's Paradox. Routine scavenging message. Let me try that again. Archer's Paradox. On a routine scavenging mission, an unexpected discovery brings new threats to the Artemis crew. The next one's going to be called Hunting Grounds. Captain Drummer faces relentless pirates and dwindling supplies while pursuing a new objective. So yeah, that one will be out very soon and we're going to have fun with that one very much in the near future. And we're going to enjoy this every other week. New episode. Thank you so much for hanging out with me.